Next part. Wait a minute. I don't trust it. Okay, I was wrong to mistrust you. You are operating as you should be. What is it? Something serious? Need to bury a body? No. Gumdrop ran off. I think she went to Mount Sor- Sor- Blech. I think she went to Mount Sorbet to get a rare ingredient for this thing she wants to make. Whatever, you guys don't need to know the details. Ah, so that's where she was going. I saw her pass by and wondered, yeah. Wait, what? Why didn't you stop her? I greeted her, but that girl was on a mission. She barely even told me what, where she was padding off to. She just pointed to the mountain and said, that way. You should know. I have a policy of never asking too many questions. Curiosity only leads to trouble for folks like me. <sighs> Useless cat. At least that confirms she's definitely going in that direction. I wonder how far she got. Do you think something bad happened to her? What if she got eaten along the way? You're the only one who'd do that to her. Well... If it's too cold, she won't be able to move. And if she doesn't come home, Pastille will get all upset and probably blame me for it. She wants me to make the special recipe for him. And if he knew I was only... And if he knew... She was only trying to get the last ingredient because I said I wouldn't go, well... I guess I'd blame me too. Say no more. I'll help you find dear sweet gumdrop. But only if you give me a taste of whatever it is you're planning on making. Uh... I suddenly don't feel like it. Maybe I'll risk going alone. No way! I'm too invested in this idea now. You have to let me come along. Ugh, fine. I need magic anyway, so I might as well use you. One taste, that's it. Oh, so that was a, that was a fake choice. We'll negotiate the terms later. Let's go get your candy back. What about you, cat? Feel like climbing a mountain with us? No, thanks. That place is all snow and dogs. I can hardly stand the thought of it. I'm a city dweller at heart, yeah. Just wait right here for us, Toffee. We'll be back before you know it. Be safe, yeah. Damn. I hate the cold. It's not that bad. But I guess it's different for someone who's not protected by magic. Hehehe. <laughs> but I bury you in the snow to see what your magical protection does against that. Oh, my dear Candy Alchemist. Aren't we supposed to be partners on this little quest? You can't talk that way to a party member. Let's just get along. Ah, oh, not you too. Gumdrop's always insisting she wants to get along with me. Why do I need to get along with anyone? Why can't I just do things my own way without annoying people trying to befriend me? But annoying? <clears throat> I didn't say we should be friends. I just think it'd be best if we cooperate. Fair enough. This place can be pretty dangerous. I read there's ferocious wolves that will gang up on you and rip you to shreds. Wolves? I I I'm not afraid of any wolves. How about a whole pack? You think you could take them out with your magic? E easily Oh really? You're trembling. That's just because of the c cold. Hey, what's that ahead? Is it a wolf, a monster? Syrup, do something! I think we found Gumdrop. Oh, She's completely frozen. I wonder if she's conscious right now. Hey, candy idiot. 
told you this would happen if you came here. You're lucky we found you. Wolf girl. So someone was looking for her. Wolf! Butterscotch, you're being rude. I've been watching the golem for a while now and wondering if anyone would show up to fetch her. Huh. You live around here? Wait a minute. Cool. She does... She has like a... Kind of a fierce attitude. Or expression. Nod. We actually came to find a special plant. Do you think you could take her to your house to thaw while we go get it? I promise we won't be too long. Sarah, what if she eats her? What, like you did? That's different. Dogs don't really have a sweet tooth, right? I prefer meat. See, nothing to worry about. This way is a lot more convenient. Yeah, this way is a lot more convenient than taking her all the way back home and having to hike all the way back up here for one little plant. I don't mind taking her in. Seeing her frozen in place for so long was kind of sad. We don't even know who you are. Why should we trust you with something as valuable as living candy? Treat. Huh? It's my name. Now we're acquainted. Alright, Butterscotch. Do you have any other problems, or can we get going now? No, no. Glad, that we're, glad that's all settled. Let's go and find your rare ingredient, whatever it was, and go home. Treat, you could smile. Sorry. She's more of a cat person. Syrup, right? I smell a pretty powerful smell on that witch. Is she really okay to be up here wasting that much magic? A spell? I don't know what you're talking about. I guess ordinary humans can't sense that kind of thing. It's plain as day to me. Anyway, it smells like someone... Bleh. Anyway, it smells like something useless. Tell her to concentrate on survival. I want to be able to return your golem later. Sure, thanks. So that takes place during uh, Friendly Bunny Mochi, part two of the Treat series. After receiving directions from Treat, the pair continues up the mountain. Syrup felt at ease knowing Gumdrop was safe, but Butterscotch seemed to be having a rough time. Things only got worse as they ran into trouble. Scary wolf. Menacing growl. Ah, real wolf. What are you doing? Scared off with your magic. Oh, uh, uh, take this monster. You made it pink. <laughs> wolf. You turned it pink? It's supposed to be a fireball. I don't know what happened. Either way, I guess it worked. Lucky break? Butterscotch. You wouldn't happen to have, like, a curse on you or anything, right? Rude. I am not cursed. I'm completely fine. I just lost focus and messed up. It happens to everyone. Your teeth are chattering. What happened to your magic protection against the cold? Dwindy! Maybe I'm not as strong as I thought. Are you happy? Oh man. I offered her my coat before. I've only played through this once before. You should have dressed for the weather. 
This is what happens when you get overconfident. Sh sh shut up. I'll make it. You need me for this, right? Hello. Packles. It came back with more. Time to go. Uh-oh. Syrup and butterscotch escape into a frozen cave. The witch hastily seals the entrance with ice, forcing the wolves to abandon the chase. Exhausted, the pair takes a well-deserved rest. Hey, you alright? No, this is awful. You should have stayed home with Toffee where it's safe and warm. Well, at least we should be able to find what we're looking for in here. This is the exact environment Frosted Cremella thrives in. You can just chill here if you want. I'm going further in. Dare you make a joke at a time like this. You're as bad as Toffee. Syrup, wait, don't leave me alone. Whoa. Yep, found it. J jerk. How could you leave me behind like that? Oh, is that what we came for? Yeah, I just need to grab some of the fruit and we can go home. Good. Grab a ton so we never have to come back. Um, last time I took only what I needed. Excuse me. Yeah, I definitely no never want to go on another trip like this with you. So I might as well make this one... Make this one worth the effort. Alright, magic the ice away so we can get out of here. Right. Take this. Uh, nothing's happening. You're messing around and break the ice. What if the wolves are still there? I don't hear them or see their shadows. We should be fine. Right. Alright, for real this time. Yeah. Is something wrong? I'm just stressed out, so my magic's not working right. Shut up! So, we're trapped in here. No, we're not trapped. I'm a great witch. It's just the stupid spell doesn't want to happen. Ah! Okay, we're a little trapped. Magic's connected to your state of mind, right? Try to calm down. Calm? I'm calm as frick! Butterscotch. Everything's under control. My emotions are completely in check. So my magic should be working just fine. Butterscotch! What? Talk to me. What's wrong? I don't know. It's cold. What if I can't get us out of here? Are we gonna die here because of me? No, you're a great witch, remember? We'll make it. We can't even get this spell to work. Sealing the cave was an accident in the first place. I panicked and it just... Hey, you'll get it. You've got the talent. If you can make gum drop, you can melt ice. Just take a deep breath and try again. I didn't. Huh? I didn't make them drop. I don't know who did. I just took the credit to make myself look better. So sorry, you thought wrong. Stupid ice, stupid wall, stupid, stupid. Rah! Butterscotch. Is your magic still going haywire? Because you look different. What? I... I oh. M my spell came undone. See, I don't... I don't get it. I don't see her looking any different. Don't look at me. This body is just an illusion. It's not the real me. Uh, it's not very convincing. So this is what she meant. That wolf girl from before told me you were wasting all your magic on some, with some useless spell. 
It's not useless. I need it. Can't let anyone except Toffee see me this way. Please don't tell anyone. What did she look like before? Why do you hide behind a transformation all the time? People don't take you seriously when you look like I do. I want to be a beautiful, fearsome witch that everyone admires, but instead I'm... Your... Everything about me is fake, alright? I'm always lying to everyone, I'm barely any good with magic, and I can't even bear to let anyone see what I really look like. And now we're gonna die because I'm a big fat coward who can never tell you the truth. Are you happy? Well, say something. Aren't you gonna yell at me? Don't you hate me? Oh man. I have nothing to say to you. Was there any other way out? Do you think I would have come back if there was? I can't believe you lie about literally everything just to make yourself look better. I should have never trust I should never have trusted you to come all the way all the way here with me. I'm sorry. Hey, you better be sorry. We're gonna die here because you're too unstable to break us out. I'm not happy about it either. Yelling at me isn't gonna make my magic suddenly work, you know. Whatever. The air only seemed to get colder and colder in that cavern. Unable to reconcile their differences, the pair sat across from each other in silence. Butterscotch was never able to melt the ice away, and eventually, two of them succumbed to the cold. Frozen end. Alright. Wait, what did that say? This is a message from the future. Thanks for over 30,000 downloads. That little thing at the bottom is different, like every time you load it or whatever. Alright, so... Do, 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 do. I give it a coat. Uh, do you want my coat? See, she doesn't look any different. She's still got bangs. She's still got hair. Still in ponytails. She's still got that cloak. She's still got that hat. She's still got freckles. What? No, you need it, don't you? I can make a sacrifice if it means you'll talk normally again. Yeah, that is kind of annoying. Thanks. You're not as mean as I thought. Hey, wolves again. Time to go. <coughs> Which hastily seals the thing shut and blah blah blah. This already happened. Yep, found it. Blah, blah, blah. Take all you can carry. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, magic the ice away so we can get out of here. Now oh, I have my coat back. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. So I have to forgive her this time, or else. Yeah, see, she looks exactly the same. Maybe her eyes are different. Oops. 
No, I don't need to save it. I know what happens if I hate you. I don't hate you at all, Butterscotch. I never have. What are you saying? Sometimes I wonder why we're always fighting. And I guess that's because that's the way we are. But it's not like I ever actually hated you. You're lying. Why would I lie? There's no point since we'll both be dead soon. Soon enough. Unless we figure a way out of here, that is. But I mean... I thought you hated anyone who can do magic. You do, don't you? That's not it. I just... I think that being able to do things without magic... Um... Pardon me a moment. Aha! Fire! I just think being able to do things without magic takes an incredible understanding of the world and its elements, and that's awesome. So when it feels like no one else sees that, I get frustrated. Maybe I don't trust magic users in general, but still... No, I've never hated you just for being a witch. What? What are you staring at me like that for? Aren't you at least gonna make fun of me? For looking like this? Like what? You don't look any different. Why should anyone care about what you look like? It's not their business. You're not hurting anyone, so who cares? You just don't get it. Everyone thinks you're cool and you don't even have to try. You don't know what it's like. Hey, I try hard to be taken seriously too. Everyone sees my alchemy as a gimmick. Like I'm doing cheap tricks compared to anyone else in, in a town full of magic users. Well, anyone can make candy. Anyone can make decent candy with magic, but yours tastes the best. Of course they do. I'm a genius when it comes to candy making. Jeez, you're so confident. I have to be. Otherwise I'd give up and do something else boring with my life instead. Hey, remember the day when we first met? When I came into your store to make fun of how bad your alchemy would make candy taste? But then you forced me to try a piece. And you were so impressed that you begged me to teach you and how to make them. But I was still mad, so I refused. You declared us rivals. Yeah, I remember. I just think, maybe if not for our big egos, we could have become friends sooner. Mm, yeah, maybe. Thanks, sir. I feel a lot better. Your magic might work now, so I'm going to give it another shot. With their mind at ease, Butterscotch is finally able to focus and melt away the wall of ice that had trapped the pair in the cavern. They make their way back down the mountain without incident to an unfrozen and very relieved gumdrop. Eager to get to work on the ultimate suite, they promptly return Butterscotch to her cottage. Hey, and we, we have extra candy. I thought taking extra would screw it up somehow. Toffee, I'm home. My mission was a success. Master. Oh, your spell. I know, don't worry. It's a long story. I'll tell you later. You have dog scent on you. Those wolves didn't give you any trouble, did they? Yeah, I should have went with you. I was just being a scary cat. Oh, hey, it went just fine. Calm your whiskers. You were worried about me? Hey, wouldn't I be? You went on a dangerous mission with your greatest rival. A lot could have gone wrong, you know. Guess we probably shouldn't say anything about almost freezing to death then. What? <laughs> she's joking, she's joking. Anyway, I shouldn't keep going drop waiting outside. See ya. Hey, 
before you go, there's one more thing I should tell you about. Promise you won't hate me? Yeah, I promise. Okay, I... I've been using this crystal ball to spy on you for so spy on your lab sometimes. I'm really sorry. What? Here, take it. I won't use it anymore. I know it was bad, but I wanted to try to learn how you make candy so I could do it myself. But your science is just too confusing, and I couldn't figure it all out, figure it out at all. So it was all for nothing. I'm really, really sorry. Uh, thanks for telling me, I guess. You don't hate me? Said I wouldn't. Phew. I wasn't sure how you'd take it. I thought you'd be a lot madder. Well, I did just get back from a near-death experience. The fact that you've been spying on me seems kind of inconsequential after that. Yeah, but there's one night recorded on there. I think you'll probably want to see it. And what night is that? What happened? Just watch it later when you get the chance. It's important. Okay. Syrup! You ready to return home and finish the ultimate suite? Yeah, sorry to keep you waiting. Later, Butterscotch. Don't forget to bring me some when it's done. I won't forgive you if I don't get to taste it. Hey, we're back. It's late. I was starting to get really worried. I am sorry to have worried you, Master Pastille. But we are working on a top secret surprise. So we will tell you all about our adventure when it is finished. A surprise? Okay then, I'll hold off on asking where you've been all day. We'll be downstairs, so don't come in until we finished working, alright? So the surprise is a special treat. I should have guessed. Just try not to stay up all night. I know how you get when you're working on something big. I don't need you giving me a bedtime. I'll sleep when it's done. Syrup's enthusiasm for desserts is unmatched. Let us begin our work. <laughs> she's holding that whisk like she's gonna beat it. Syrup and Gumdrop retreat to the basement, spending an hour, spending hour after hour preparing the ultimate sweet. Finally, all that's left is to let it chill overnight. We did good, Gumdrop. Thanks for all your help. I am glad it could be of assistance. I cannot wait for Master Pastiel to try it. Yeah, me too. You stay here and keep an eye on things. I'm gonna go pass out. Roger that. I will see you in the morning. Now is a good chance to watch whatever's on this thing. Dude, of course look into it. Just so we can come back and see what happens if we don't. Let's see what Butterscotch wanted to show me. That should be it. Did it work? Are you alive now? Maybe I messed up the spell. Hello, Master. What is your command? Oh, you're working. I did it. Please issue a command. Right, right. Uh, I didn't think this through. What's the best way to explain? Okay, I have this friend. She's not very sociable and has kind of a thing against magic, so it's really hard for her to make friends here. Please issue a command. Yes, sorry. I guess what I'm asking is... If maybe you could try... Even though you're made from magic, you're also candy. So it should be okay, I think. Unable to process. Please state your command clearly. Hmm. I really should have thought this through better. Uh, please try to get along with my friend Syrup. Unable to process. Please provide instructions on how to get along. 
Well, first of all, the way you talk is really unnatural. Try speaking more casually. You know, be friendly. How is this? Better. Keep talking. Um, I still not I still do not understand what you want me to do, Master. It sounds too complicated. I'm sorry. I know golems aren't usually made for things like this, but I didn't have much of a choice. My friend hates talking to magic users. Speaking of which, she absolutely cannot know that I made you. She still thinks I'm just like her and can't use magic. Okay, I will work hard. Right now, I think you're doing great. Just keep acting like a regular person and you'll be friends with her in no time. Acting like... Yeah, even though you're made out of candy, it feels like I'm talking to a real human. Just keep being yourself. Be myself. Yep. Consider that to be your main objective. Hopefully it's simple enough. Act human, but I am candy. Be myself. Act like a person. I am candy, but act. Oops, maybe it was too complicated. Be candy, act like myself, person. <laughs> ah, stop! Oh shit, that broom is her, is her wand? Did I break you? Looks like I messed it up again. This one seemed so promising. I'd probably have better luck getting Psy to talk to other magic users and getting, go getting a golem to work right. This is a lot of candy to go to waste, though. I guess I'll take it apart and... But this one actually talked to me. She seemed she was sentient. Hey, if I give up now, would it be like I killed you? Ah, I won't give up on you. I won't give up on Syrup, either. You're gonna be friends somehow, I swear it. So Pastille actually turns out to be a witch. Damn it. What am I supposed to do with this information? Why would he make me a fake friend? Why would he hide all of his talent and waste his time working here? How am I supposed to even talk to about all of this? I should just go return this thing. What do you know? It's the candy alchemist. Yeah. What are you doing here at this hour? Is Butterscotch awake? I came to give this back. Master is fast asleep. Were you hoping you could talk to her? Yeah. No, I... I figured she'd be asleep, so... But you still came all the way here in the middle of the night. It's not like I'd be able to fall asleep anyway. Oh, here's your crystal ball. I'll be back tomorrow with the ultimate suite. Leaving so soon? I thought we could have a little chat while you're here. Yeah. Alright, cat, what do you want to talk about? There's plenty to say. For instance, you know Master Secret now. She works pretty hard to keep up appearances, so it's kind of a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Why do you... Why do you think people hide things that are such a big part of themselves? Master does it because she cares a lot about what other people think of her. Especially when the opinion of someone she cares about... Especially when it's the opinion of someone she cares about, right? Precisely. She's really sensitive, so when someone doesn't like her, she goes out of her way to prove how great she is. It's annoying, because she's already perfectly fine to begin with. The way I see it, if someone doesn't like you, you just have to let them be that way. But, as long as she disagrees, she'll keep overcompensating and hiding behind that spell. What spell? She doesn't look any different. 
I think what you said might have helped her a lot though. So thanks, yeah. I didn't do much. Still. If she's more confident now, that means I can relax. I won't have to knock her enemies down a peg to protect her feelings all the time. How long has she been like this? Since before I became her familiar. She's always been putting on a front. But you don't have to look very hard to see that she's a complete wreck. At first, I followed her because I thought it'd be entertaining to watch someone like that. But somehow I became her guardian instead. <laughs> what, you got something to say about it? No, I was just thinking it was funny you stopped saying yeah for once. Yeah, wow. Can I drop the shtick for a serious conversation? This is the last time I open up to you, yeah. Sorry. I do feel a little better after talking to you, though, so thanks, Toppy. No problem. I'll go get some rest. It's really late, yeah. Feeling more at ease after that little chat. Syrup returns home as exhaustion finally hits her. Tomorrow is the day she... Bleh. Tomorrow is the day they can all finally taste the ultimate sweet. So, how is it? It's... It's the best thing I've ever tasted. Whoever came up with this recipe wasn't kidding about the ultimate part. Hmm, I completely agree. Feels sort of bad that Gumdrop doesn't have any taste buds to experience this with. I am just happy to see the two of you enjoying it. Dude. Pastille is like... On cloud nine there. I am happy to. I thought you forgot about your promise. I thought you forgot about your promise to make this for me, Sai. Thank you. Eh, yeah, don't get, don't start getting all sappy over nothing. Gumdrop's the one who reminded me. Serving Master Pastilles of the utmost importance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shh. Don't say things like that. You don't have to be so nice to me. He's right. If we're too soft on him, he'll stop working so hard. Unacceptable. I feel like you're not joking in the slightest when you say that. Well, I just remembered something important I gotta go do. See you around. She's in a hurry. I wonder if that wasn't just a lame excuse to run off and she actually has some place to be. Syrup is a very mysterious person. <sighs> Why is it so hard to say, hey, I know your secret. I've got better things to do than confront him about it anyway. Yeah, who cares? I'll just keep pretending it never happened. Later, store. <laughs> So, wait, so what do you say, luxury treat this good, there's a ton of, bleh, there's a ton of money to be made, don't you think? Most certainly, Candy Alchemist, by the sound of it, you're looking to us as investors for your little shop, eh? That's right, came up with the idea last night, I make the candy, you guys fund and distribute the product, everybody gets richer. We would be fool we would be fools to decline, considering the promising sample you provided us. What say you, brother? I concur. Candy Alchemist Syrup. We would be honored to do business and do business with talent of your caliber. <laughs> and with that, Syrup very quickly climbed the ladder of success, becoming one of the richest people in the world. With no distracting personal relationships to hold her back, she was able to live a glamorous life of self-indulgence, providing deliciousness across many nations. If money could buy happiness, she had certainly done it. Way to go. <laughs> Syrup end. Oh. No, there's... 
probably other endings. Once upon a time in... where was it? Sorry, must not have been very memorable. Let's see, what was the last save? Oh yeah! So let's try not looking at the crystal ball. Doesn't matter. I think I know what it might be, and I don't need to see it. What I really need to just is some sleep. Good night, store. <laughs> That's what my bed looks like. Syrup had no trouble at all falling asleep that night. Whatever was on the crystal ball, she decided wasn't important to her. The only thing that mattered now was the ultimate sweet. So how is it? It's the best thing I've ever tasted. Alright. So that's all the same. Uh, it's the same. I don't understand. Alright. Hey, you cleared the game. Have you seen all the endings yet? I don't think I have. Um. We'll, we'll try this with much skippage. Do not eat the cute candy, girl. Not eating you. Is there a problem? Please put me in your mouth. Oh dear. It's about time. Pastel, make her stop. I promise I taste good. Here, just start with a finger. I said no. I'm not going to eat a person. It's too weird. I'm not just a person. I am candy. You said the whole point of candy is to get eaten. Hmm. Sai, why don't you just eat her then? Because she's not regular candy. I don't want to eat any magic candy that acts like it's human. If I did not act human, you would eat me? Nope. It's too late. Never eating you. Ever. Got it? No! Hey, don't give up. Maybe she'll change your mind one day. Don't encourage her. Whose side are you on? I, I will not give up. I will get along with Syrup. If you want to get along so badly, stop telling me to eat you. Pass, uh, so you'll do something about this. Me? Yes, yeah, it's your fault she's in here. What do you mean? I know exactly where this girl came from. You do? That rotten witch was made her to torment me. Okay. So... Let's try making it... God damn it, I said skip. Oh, uh, right, it won't... It won't skip, uh, scene text. Syrup, you're going the wrong way. Hold on. You'll never be able to get along with her if you keep telling her what to do. Really? Yeah, can't you tell? She doesn't like it very much. You have to find out what she likes. Pastille. I can't help but notice this doesn't sound like you're trying to get rid of her. In fact, it sounds the complete opposite. Alright, Master. I will find out what she likes. Alright, so since we're going on an adventure to get a different ending, it's going to take a while. We'll do a part three. So goodbye, part two.